Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watch One. Thanks for logging on. Today we're looking at the Quorum Admirals Cup Legend 42. 42 millimeters in a combination of 18 karat rose gold and polished stainless steel. You can see, and if you like, you can purchase this Quorum Admirals Cup Legend on our website, watchyouwant.com. And if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Watch You Want Inc. Now, the Quorum Admirals Cup has, since its first major modern era redesign in 2006, become something of an oversized sporting reference. Extrovert, flamboyant, ready to go blow for blow with Ublo, and of course the biggest and baddest from Breitling. But the Legend 42 series, initially launched in 2011, celebrates some of the traditional values of Quorum of La Chaux de Fonds, as well as the dress watch origins of the Admiral's Cup line. Now you can see on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, this is the picture of a modern dual purpose sports and formal watch. The right combination of size at 42 millimeters, but also thin, discreet style, only 9.5 millimeters thick with an economy of gold embellishment. This watch is very comfortable. Now, it does have a broad span from lug to lug, 51.5 millimeters. So in terms of the surface area it covers on your wrist, it's got a bit more case and a little bit less lug than a current generation Rolex Submariner. So that's the kind of geography we're talking on the wrist, but because it does have a wonderfully supple calfskin leather strap, it is a little bit more flexible in adapting to a smaller wrist than the Rolex. Now 9.5 millimeters in an automatic watch is a true credit to Corum, which has managed to pare down the immense dodecagonal Admiral's Cup shape. That's 12 sides to the case, the bezel, the dial, the chapter ring, and the sapphire, taking what has become an aggressive oversized sports watch and returning it to its roots. Now, the Admiral's Cup line was established in 1960, only five years after the launch of Quorum as a wristwatch brand. And over the years, it was something of a sporty, upscale formal watch rather than an all-out sports watch. The watch returned to its roots with the Legend 42 line in 2011, and you can see how effectively Corum returns the series to its ancestral position as a men's watch that's appropriate in any situation. First, let's take a look at the way this leather strap nicely complements the dial and bezel. You can see a brown calfskin, minimally bolstered, but with just enough shoulder at the lug to flow into the swell of the lugs and the volume of the case. There's a beautiful contrasting, almost complementary, rose gold colored threading here, and the clasp is immensely impressive. First of all, a very substantial piece in stainless steel. You can see double deployant with twin trigger release. Even the twin trigger mechanism is beautifully finished on both sides, and like every aspect of the watch, the clasp is finished with gorgeous attention to detail inside and out. Now, Quorum is more of an art house than anything else. They do manufacture some exquisite movements in-house, but they've been known as style leaders, and based out of Le Chaux de Fond, a hotbed of 20th century modernism and late 19th century, early 20th century Art Nouveau. It's a company that's really redolent of high-end artistic traditions inside and outside of the case. Notice how the case itself matches the contours of this strong geometry on the bezel. Now the bezel mixes the strength of the angles with the sinuous curve of a, a semi-domed portion, just as the case itself with its strong and strident facets segues into the sensuous flow of these blended lugs. There's a great tension here between the curves and the rectilinear geometries that intersect at 12 points around the case. Now the dial flows from that sort of faceted aspect of the watch's controlling idea. I, I would say that the dial is where you see the strongest geometries, where you see the linear clashes in most pronounced form, because we flow from the facets of the bezel to a sapphire that is truly 12-sided. So a 12-sided sapphire is not just difficult to produce, it's immensely expensive, but it's difficult to attain any degree of water resistant with this many pointed junctions. But this watch is 5 HEM water resistant, immensely impressive considering the complexity of this case, sapphire, and bezel junction. Now the Rehaut featuring the 1983 to present Quorum Admiral's Cup's nautical pennants, each one at one of the hour indices, slopes down from the bezel, echoes its lines, and transitions to an almost teak deck style dial. Now the guilloche on the brass dial is PVD coated to a sort of 
anthracite color. So quite beautiful in contrast to the applied rose gold indices and the 60 minute index as well as the quorum shield and marquee. This is beautifully done but with an economy of text and embellishments. It really is quite simple, beautifully legible, and equally so night or day because of those broad and fully loomed rose gold trapeze hands. Now this is a watch that takes some of the excesses of the oversized Admiral's Cup watches, pairs them down, and fully atones for them. For those who feel that a quorum should be a more discreet watch, the Admiral's Cup Legend 42 delivers. It even takes the sometimes controversial use of a date window on a formal watch, and it pairs it down with a monotone disc and a small aperture, so it virtually vanishes. When you're not looking for it, you tend not to notice it. Now, the teak deck is something that we've seen recapitulated on some upscale references from companies like Quorum and Omega in recent years. And while Quorum has actually created one entirely of wood on a parallel Admiral's Cup offering, this one is a nice sort of halfway between an outright avant-garde statement and a discreet accent to enhance the texture and differentiation of this dial. Now on the flanks of the case you can see that Quorum's attention to detail continues in the design of the crown with the Quorum double key motif and the knurling of the machine crown flanks. It's actually very easy to turn this crown and a true pleasure to manipulate it when setting the time, operating the quick set date, or winding the watch. Now you can also see on the case back the Quorum, in this case caliber CO395, also known as the ETA 28952. Now it's basically the 2892 that we know and love from the James Bond Seamaster of the 1990s with one important change. It features small seconds rather than center. What it continues to feature is the hacking so you can set the time precisely, stopping the balance by pulling the crown. Now you can sync it up to a reference timer. Automatic winding bi-directional so it's very smooth. There's none of the unweighted sort of unidirectional rotor wobble that you get on something unidirectional, especially those based on 7750 calibers. So it feels refined in its action on the wrist and it quickly tops off its 42 hour power reserve. It's a set it and forget it type movement with bulletproof reliability. And again, it's got the soul of a sports watch, so very tough. Now 42 hours of power reserve with a modern four hertz beat rate it's essentially the kind of movement that can keep chronometer grade timing standards while still providing you with the level of thinness that permits the watch to be pared down to less than 10 millimeters in total girth. It's important to remember that something like a Rolex 3135 is going to be 6 millimeters plus in thickness and the 2892, although we take it for granted as a common engine in upscale automatic watches, this one is well under four millimeters in thickness, so you can really get a nice minimalist profile from the watch when you're using a 2892. Now, Quorum embellishes it with engine turning on the bridges, blued screws, and the Quorum custom golden, golden winding rotor with polished center. It's a beautiful look on a case back that's not just differentiated and articulated with strong lines, but actually functional in the sense that each of these channels will actually conduct sweat and moisture away from the wrist. So it feels wonderful because it's slightly conical but overwhelmingly flat in profile. It's also a delight to wear in hot weather because of the versatility of the leather strap which breathes well and the case back which is channeled for heat relief. This is a watch that you can wear in a sporting frame of mind, that you can wear in upscale situations. It takes the Quorum Admiral's Cup back to its roots with elegance, discretion, and superb taste. A wonderful balance of silver, gold, and anthracite tones. This is the perfect answer to the question, what if I can only have one watch? And given the Quorum only produces about 10,000 timepieces a year, not too many others are going to have this one. This is the Quorum Admiral's Cup Legend 42mm 18 karat rose gold and stainless steel. See it and sail it home on our website, watchyouwant.com.